create a small video. This is Adobe Illustrator and I've used the word grapes as my calligram. So the words personify the look and the shape of a, I guess, a bunch of grapes. What I'm going to do is just give you a very basic tutorial on Illustrator and how to work this um, a little bit further. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight them all together, all the words. I'm going to right click and go to create outlines. This rasterizes the image, so therefore they are not no longer a typeface. Okay, I can't highlight it and put a P there or anything else. What I want to do is go to my circular um, ellipse tool here, and I'm just going to press shift. Oh, the kids are back. And I'm just going to put it over the top. I'm just going to go to my second um, move tool, which is called direct selection tool, and just highlight those two together. I'm going to just Go to this tool here. This is the best tool on Illustrator right now, Shape Builder tool. And all I'm going to do is click on the outside of the letters. Okay, I'm not going to do the middle bit. Just the outside. I'm going to click once. I'm going to keep that bit there because that's round like a grape. I'm going to click on this bit here. Click on that. Okay, just going to click off it with my uh, direct select tool, just like that. If I put my mouse over that, I've just cut those away. Let me move this out of the way. Ta-da! So this S personifies a round grape in my world. That's what it does. I'm going to do the same with the P. Okay. I'm going to, um, I think, do different sizes. So with this tool here, which is the uh, selection tool, I'm just going to make it smaller. I'll put it over the top there. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, different size grapes, why not? Because grapes are different sizes, aren't they? Okay, I'm going to highlight it with like that, or you can just do that. I'm going to go to my direct, uh, this shape builder, click on the outside, uh, keep that, that bit there. I'm going to click on that bit there. Okay. Click on that, delete. Click on that, delete. I'm pressing backspace to delete, okay? And there's my circle. How are you, Harris? You okay? Good. Kids are doing some work for me. Now, this one is almost round in a way, this E. So I'm, I think I might keep it. You know what? I think I'm going to keep that. Actually, no, I'm going to make it a pure round disc and see if this works. Highlight them both together. Get my tool and click on the outside. Boom! Okay, let's see what this does. Move that the way. Click on the outside and delete. Yeah, actually that's much better. So again, the G, I'm gonna make this smaller. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that's it. This is, this is getting there. Okay, shape. Oops, people messaging me. Click on that and just click off it, move it out of the way, click on the outside, there you go. The R, I'm gonna press Shift and click on the R itself, that selects both of them together. Click on the plus there. This is how I use the Shape Builder tool. I know a lot of other people, like my colleague Shirley, uses it very differently. Ooh, I've made it almost like my own typeface. This is getting really interesting. Okay. I'm quite enjoying this. Click, click, and click. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to click on the outside. And there we go. And you know what? I know it's... Is it looking like an A? I think it does. I'm going to click on that bit there and see what that does. No. Ooh, I've deleted it. I'm going to just press Command Z to undo what I've just done. What I might do, I might click on that and make it white. And you can do that by just doing this. No, it can't. I think it's because it's enabled. Hang on. Do, do, do. I'll press um, Command C, which is copy. And uh, I'm going to paste it by going to edit, paste in place. Ah, it's, it's only cutting segments out. Not a problem. Look, I'm going to leave that for now. You can still see it's an A. I'm going to delete him. 
Okay, G R A P E S, grapes. Okay, I'm going to screen grab this by pressing Command Shift and four. That will go to my desktop, and I will put it in to the uh, workable area so you can see what I've just done. Okay, guys, thank you.